Greetings, Earthlings. Normally, we are all about peace, love, and harmony, but today's live stream is all about who is better, mano a mano, professional versus professional. We're going to go head to head. We're going to be doing who would win in a fight between these characters. But first, just real quick to recap, WonderCon at home is officially on. Go to bluefinbrands.com. We got a ton of stuff, a uh, ton of special promotions, ton of special things on the website. We got a couple hard to get uh, items that were exclusives at previous conventions, like the Blue Godzilla, like the Brawly, like the Vegito. Go to bluefinbrands.com to check it out. Follow us at Bluefin Brands to keep up with everything related to the sale, the live streams, everything. This is our second live stream of the day. If you missed our first one, we were going over the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. It was a fun. Uh, and uh, fervent discussion. And you can find that on all of our social channels as well as our YouTube channel. Uh, we will also be having live streams at two at uh, two o'clock where we're going to be going through the Tomashi New York pop-up shop uh, where we're gonna kind of kind of go through the virtual tour, check out what's there, you know, answer any questions you guys may have about it. And then at four o'clock, we will be having a very, very fun Transformers, uh, you know, guess who's that Transformer type show to where we would love some audience interaction. So make sure to join us often and uh, you know, comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. So without any further ado, let's get it on, as they would say, uh, Miles, Miles Lane would say when the, was it Miles Lane? Was he the judge? The referee? M Mills Lane? Mills Lane. No, oh, I had an E. <laughs> <laughs> So today we have a very special live stream. Uh, you know, we have uh, we have uh, friends that become enemies, enemies that become friends. Uh, we are going to have a bracket to where each of us picked two street level characters, and uh, we are going to duke it out to see who would be the best. So I know Justin has created a bracket. So Justin, do you want to show that bracket? Bye bye. Look at that. Show by him. We so, got. <laughs> do you want to go over it, or do you want me to? Street ish go? level. Oh, street street ish level. Yeah. Ish level, yeah. I Except for when Clark, when Clark gets to gets to pick the characters and he gets he goes all crazy. <laughs> uh, but we have Hawkeye versus Paul Rudd, aka Ant Man, I suppose. Then we have Miles Morales versus the Thing, which will be a lot of fun. Then you have Miss Marvel versus Nicolas Cage, which will be great. I believe Clark gets to be Nicolas Cage. <laughs> and of course, this is his uh, his Ghost Rider character. Yes, for those Ghost of you Rider. that didn't He's take the not, time, not just. Nick Cage. No, it's just like she's <laughs> gonna throw him out a window and it's gonna be <laughs> and then we have of course the Wolverine versus Black Panther. So this should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Very excited oh, about boy. it. I think it's important to note that if it if it were Paul Rudd and not Ant Man, that Paul Rudd would just win by de fact, by, by default. Just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Smile right at him. Yeah. Yeah. So do we wanna do we wanna let let everyone know who we have, Justin, or is that a surprise for each round? Uh, no, we can let everybody know. I suppose. All right. Well, who do you have, Justin? Who are, who are your well, picks? I, my two picks are Hawkeye and Black Panther. This nice. was keep keep in mind. Other people got to pick before David Edmondson and I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were definitely <laughs> in the and the rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm excited. Black Panther and Hawkeye. Very very pumped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about you, David? Who did you have? I got Miles Morales and Ghost Rider. Uh, Ready. I wonder who picked first. Who do you got, AJ? <laughs> it wasn't me. I got I got Paul Rudd and the fuzzy looking Wolverine. Perfect. Yeah, those are those are two pretty good ones. And I have the thing which I know a little bit about, and Kamala Khan, which I I, I don't. So uh, I I did my I did my two seconds of due diligence, and I'm hoping that my ability to to vamp and to BS will win me some points with the judges. How are we going to know who wins, Justin? Um, that's a good question. I would say whoever's not... I would say the audience, whoever's watching, can chime in and say yes, so and so won, uh, as well as uh, anyone who's not in the debate currently can also have an opinion. So in this case, like if AJ and I are having our battle between Hawkeye and Ant-Man, then Mr. Clark and Bandai Dave can, can help if the audience is either not participating or at a tie. You guys can be tiebreakers. If they just can't choose, yes. Right. All right. Now, okay. are we since we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven battles to get to, we should probably get into it. What is there a time limit? Or are we just gonna? Yeah, I'd say about two. I would say two minutes. Can't go over two minutes. Uh, okay. You just played your. You played your. So we'll I'll do it like this: to where I'll plead my case, uh, you can plead your case, and then we can have some sort of uh, rebuttal round, and then go from there. Sure. Okay. So two minutes, two minutes, one minute, one minute. How's that sound? Yeah. Excellent. Let's do it. All right. So the first matchup in the Blue Fin first international battle of street level superheroes is between Justin's Hawkeye 
and AJ's Ant-Man, a.k.a. Paul Rudd, the greatest superhero that ever existed. <laughs> I'm not biased at all. So, Justin, since uh, you know, you're on the top with Hawkeye, the most useless character ever, why don't you start? <laughs> sure. Why not? So we all know that Hawkeye has an arrow for everything. And wouldn't you know it, I just happen to have an anti-Paul Rudd arrow. And oh, no. <laughs> in that case, what it does is it reveals Paul Rudd for the age that he truly is, which is probably 200. And he will not be able to move very quickly. He will be very slow. And, of course, I will be able to pin him with a billion arrows in that time. That entire quiver is going to get unloaded on Paul Rudd's face after he has been revealed as being truly 200 years old with my with my aging arrow that I shoot him with first. How many quivers? Is it like 200 well, arrows? And, and on top of that, just because I know I'm going up against Ant-Man, I have covered all open orifices in his body. He's got earplugs. <laughs> he's got other Dang plugs. <laughs> he's got urethra plugs. I am good to go. There is no open pores in this body. I'm upset. That's it. Right, of- you, you, did, you did 50 seconds. Do you secede right. your other 70 seconds? Yes. I, I can give uh, it to AJ. He can have it if he wants it. AJ cannot have it. AJ still only gets two minutes. But, uh, AJ, two minutes. Why would the adorable Paul Rudd beat Hawkeye? All right. So not only can he change his size so he can get big and just squish you, he also has the command of ants. And I don't know if you've ever been bit by a bullet ant, but it hurts. So, like, if he gets, like, a thousand bullet ants, you've only co- you said you covered your pores and everything, all the holes, but... You didn't say you covered your skin that this picture shows. So if I can just get a bunch of ants to just toss at you, you know, you get bit by that. I'm, because he, Hawkeye is a human, I'm sure he'll feel each pain like that each ant delivers at him. Uh, also, I was going to go with the idea that, you know, he just goes up again, one of the holes, and then expands. Like, everyone has, like, why doesn't he just do that to Thanos? <laughs> Right, but, you know, you you co- said you covered up, and I'm like, all right, you got me beat on that one. But I think the bullet ants and all types of uh, bites and stings from actual ants uh, is definitely a good point for your human body. All right, that was one minute and fourteen seconds, Justin. You have one minute to rebut. Sure. So before this encounter, I stopped at the store and picked up some raid, <laughs> and I sprayed a circle around my around my person. <laughs> I am standing in a circle as I'm fighting, so no ants will penetrate that. And I have rubbed DEET all over my body. I got a DEET guy, and wouldn't you know it, I am just... Every single piece of skin that you see there has been doused in an insect repellent. So I'm good to go. And wouldn't you know it, one of those quivers just happens to be... Uh, or one of those arrows happens to be a raid arrow. And, oh, my. <laughs> and it's this toxic fume that will suffocate and murder all the little ants that you throw my way. Now, since you have a couple extra seconds, Justin, I want to answer the question. When you sh- when you spray the raid, what sound does it make? It goes, shh. <laughs> <laughs> go, raid? That's what they make. That's the sound uh, that the ants make, but not the uh, actual <laughs> can. All right, AJ, one minute to rebut Justin's rebut. All right, so, here's, so if I can just get bigger, right, and just have a palm full of <laughs> ants <laughs> on me, you know, they could get into your, uh, you know, I could just, as long as they can get under that mask of yours, they could poke your eye or something. You know, just, as long as they grab you <laughs> as a giant <laughs> ant man. <laughs> All right. Awesome first round, guys. Uh, you know, while we wait for people in the comments section to chime in with who they thought would win, let's start with you, Mr. Clark. Who, who swayed you? Well, actually, let's, let's start this. Going into who do you think would win uh, and were you swayed? All right, so going into it, I thought that maybe you know Hawkeye could make quick work of it because that's his only chance is to end it immediately. But then, like, AJ made a compelling argument with just – he could throw a bunch of ants at you. Like, I mean, <laughs> I hate bugs. I would have surrendered immediately if, if I had a bunch of ants thrown at me. So I'm going to go with AJ. That's the Clark's <laughs> weakness, everyone. <laughs> yeah, all right. So if I he's trying to take over the Earth <laughs> – <laughs> I instantly went, I can't vote against my boy Ant-Man, but then Justin's talking about plugging holes and <laughs> ear holes, kids don't get dirty and stuff like that. And so I was like, well, that's pretty good. And he's got, he's got Raid. Raid. Raid always works out of that time. So my vote goes for Justin. So I don't know if anyone in the comments has any, uh, any way to break this tie. Yeah, uh, comments has two Ant-Mans. Oh, sorry, So Justin. Ant-Man wins. That's okay. Ant-Man is the winner of round one. Right, Paul Rudd, keep going. We can fix this. Hopefully. We can fix this. Holding. 
All right, so while Joseph fixes that, we can hype the next round. The next round is going to be between a battle of the Davids. You know, David has Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and I have the thing, the mighty thing with this orange rock everywhere. So <laughs> let's go, David. Uh, let's start the timer, and you can go in five, four, three, two, go. All right, so Miles Morales, he's like Spider-Man Plus. He's got, he's got the spider sense. He's got the super strength. He's got durability. He's got, uh, you know, obviously all the web abilities as well. He can go invisible. He can shock you. He's very intelligent. Uh, and he's also from, he had one of the best comic movies of all time. Whereas the thing, uh, I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> has not had such a great out outing in the, in, in the cinema. But uh, he also, I think also Miles is also smarter than the thing too. So easily I think <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can get around him because he won't be able to see. He, he, won't, he won't be able to see Miles. Miles can just wrap him up, and before the thing gets just react, just throw him in the ocean, and just keep throwing him in the ocean until you figure something out. It's fine. It's fine. But the thing is, the thing can't tag him. It's not going to work. He can't. He, he can't hit him. He's not smart enough to think of anything else. So I think eventually Miles Morales will win. Also, he's more of a main character. So hey, Justin, the I'm power use, of <laughs> I'm going to use part of my time to ask you a question, Justin. Tell me, what's, what do these things have not in common with Miles Morales? The Empire Strikes Back, Godfather 2, and The Two Towers. I'll spoil it for you. Those are the only instances where the sequel is better than the original. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't need, I don't need Sp bootleg Spider-Man like 2.0 from like Brazil or something like that. First of all, what? <laughs> a, a lot of those great things that you mentioned about... The iron, about about Miles Morales, also the thing. The thing has super strength, well above, light years above Miles Morales. You know, Miles Morales, you could try shocking him. Thing's not even going to feel that. He's going to be like, what, was that like a tick on me or something like that? You know, uh, Miles Morales' second greatest weakness, aside from being a sequel, is that, you know, he just doesn't have experience. He's a young kid. He's getting used to his body. He's going through these changes. You know, we all went through the change, and he doesn't know. Things are happening in his body. The thing is a seasoned military man. An expert, expert, uh, you know, officer in the Fantastic Four has so much wit, so much skill, so much experience under his belt. Plus, put that with the strength, the tactics, everything that just is leap years ahead of Miles Morales. And and he's an OG. He's not a he's not Thing 2.0. So, for those reasons, the Thing would squash him like the bug he is. He might he may have trouble catching him, but once he catches him, ooh, it's clobbering time. <laughs> there you go. All right, David Clark, what's your rebuttal? So, not when, it's if he catches him, which he's not going to do. And Miles isn't just a sequel. He is the ultimate Spider-Man. Um, and uh, that acknowledgement came from Peter Parker himself, who, by the way, has also done a lot to mentor the, the, the young man into his, uh, his hero-ness. He's got way more time on him to learn. He's fresh. Thing, thing has been kind of average. His whole career, so uh, I won't be. And and not only was he average in the comics, he was very average in the cinema too. So I'm I'm gonna go with the fact that uh, Miles Morales, the guy who has the hotness, the guy whose figure coming out at GameStop in a few months, by the way, you know, he's the one uh, that I think is uh is the, is the better pick, faster, uh, smarter, more varied abilities, and um, he he's more popular, man. If you have if you have any doubts, look at the box office. It's not look, a popularity was, I, contest. <laughs> yeah, look, I was gonna let you, I was gonna be civil with you, Clark. I was gonna make it your friends. I was gonna I wasn't gonna go below the belt, but that you dared bring Michael Chiklis into this. You, you talked about <laughs> him in the cinema. Michael Chiklis, we're doing it. It's not amazing. How dare you? How dare you, sir? I think the comment section will fine. bring it out that Michael Chiklis is an amazing thing. And you said it's not it's not when it's if he catches them, he'll have no problem catching catching Spider-Man. Spider-Man's gotta eat, gotta sleep. You think can hold his breath, he can wait underwater, he can he can just pounce on him and stuff like that. The thing has super stamina, he has the he has, like I said, he has the experience. He would plan out an attack that Iron Spider, or I keep saying Iron Spider, that Miles <laughs> Morales would not see coming a mile away because he's too inexperienced. The thing is so likable. The thing is one of the most liked people in the Marvel universe. No one would ever see it coming. If the thing snapped, Miles Morales would never have any kind of inkling, even with his spider sense, and he would just grab him. And like I said, it's That's caught time. Him. Ooh, it's close. All right, AJ. Just out of curiosity, who do you think would win? Who, who made the better argument? Do you think Clark's Miles Morales or David's thing? Like David made some compelling point. Like Edmondson made some compelling points towards the end with like the stamina. Because I was thinking, yeah, like Spider Man can outwit the thing, but if you know the thing has stamina, like you know, 
he, I'm sure he can just bide his time and then maybe he'll win that way. Um, I'm still going to go with Spider-Man just for fan favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. You guys are playing Everybody this wrong. Spider-Man. Everybody <laughs> loves the spider. You're not supposed to go in predetermined. You're supposed to be swayed by the words. <laughs> Oh, you did, you, like, oh man! Someone, like, someone commented on the uh, chat. You know, he has shocky powers. I'm like, this is true. I do the like shocky thing. powers. And you can yeah. go invisible. Thing's not gonna feel that. But being invisible right, is kind of true. <laughs> All right, so so one for Clark. Sure. I, I, All right, I, well, I have an uphill battle finally against Miles Morales, who I love. Right, I do too. And In the Spider Verse is my favorite movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but having said that, as they say, uh, I think you're right, Dave. I think it's clobbering time. I think that uh, I think that Miles would get just a little bit too cocky, and I think that thing would get his hands on him and just and crush him into nothingness, and that would yeah. break my heart. I would be sad. But as it turns out, the the com or the the comments <laughs> believe that Miles Morales would come out on top. Uh, so he, uh, he is the ultimate Spider-Man. So he can even be Doc Ock. Remember, remember, <laughs> right. remember, remember, guys, remember the whole thing about the spiders is that they go up and get people bigger and stronger and they come out on top. That's he also doesn't have an the uncle Ben. <laughs> That's true. Oh, <laughs> the only one I thought I had a chance on. The next one. <laughs> I, I'd like to think that people came in with preconceived ideas of who they wanted to pick for this one. I know. <laughs> All right. So next up, we got a rematch. All right, it was so much fun the first time. Now we're going to go <laughs> out again. We got Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, <laughs> versus Ghost Rider, Nick Cage. Ooh. It doesn't have to be Nick Cage, Ghost Rider. If you want to be a regular Ghost Rider, you can, but Nick, Nick Cage. No, it's more, it's more funny if it's, go, if it's Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those crazy eyes. <laughs> My goodness. I All right. It. All right. I'll watch I'll, the time. I'm going to go. Sh- I'll make this short and sweet since my character's on the top and I made David okay. go first last time. Go short and sweet. Kamala Khan has some amazing powers. The power that I'm going to focus on is her ability to shapeshift. Ghost Rider becomes Ghost Rider because, you know, he makes a deal to save his father. My plan is to shapeshift into Ghost Rider's father. He comes in for embrace. I destroy him with my super strength. Leave him on the floor. Apologize because I'm a polite person. You know, I'm not a monster. Uh, and then walk away. And uh, that's my time right there. I'm going to keep it short and sweet for the voters. Sweet. <laughs> She's got strength and, and, and shape-shifting abilities, and she can grow super size. She, 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 she whoops this guy with a flaming skull head. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my, my counter to that is uh, I have Ghost Rider. So a <laughs> uh, simple, uh, you know, Grab her with the with the with the whip. Uh, you know, hit her with some fire, or you know, the the end all be all for Ghost Rider. The penance there. Um, you know, she's she's mainly a good girl, but anything you've done wrong, it's it's, it's enough for that to trigger, and then you will die. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I mean, that's kind of it. I think, I think it's clear to the viewers that uh, Mr. Clark and I put the bulk of our researching and attention into our previous battle. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, so Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, when, he, when he's in that form, he's basically immortal. He's got the power of a fallen angel. I mean, I thought these were street level characters. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, here's the thing: he's not super this, fast. He's not super strong. Um, he can't fly. Uh, usually, uh, you know who is super like strong, who better. is super fast, and who can fly? Ms. Marvel. Yeah, you just lost your <laughs> argument right there. <laughs> but here's the thing, though: she can't put down Ghost Rider. She has no way of putting him down, and all, all she needs is look at her. She just needs a squirt bottle, and she can just yeah, put him out there. You said basically immortal. I'm going to go to the CHP. I'm going to get those spike strips that they put down when the people are on the high speed chases. You're going to lose your I, motorcycle, and as you spin off, your your shit's going to go out. I don't think the hell cycle can be stopped by a. Uh, Shut up, like little, little That's little the things. genius of sure. it, Clark. They didn't yeah. plan for that. And, but it can't yeah, be told, my water to bottle. Be told, to be told, Ghost Rider, all he's do is look at her and make eye contact, and then like it's over. No, okay. she's not. I mean, she's what not does, what does the look do? What does that stare do? The penance stare. So basically, uh, it, uh, when he makes eye contact with you, it kind of like it brings up like everything you've ever done wrong, like all your sins in your life, and then it uses that to destroy you. It's not a <laughs> child. <laughs> Look, the only stare yeah. that, 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 that Miss Marvel is is prone to is the Care Bear stare. You know, when they light <laughs> yeah. up their tummies and they light their signs up into the sky like they're like they're like a little furry Batman bat symbol. She melts, her heart melts. Any other stare, she looks right through it, and then she'll put her fist right through that skull of his. I mean, like it, it, it wouldn't kill him though. Like he would just get back up though. 
No. Oh, he's Ghost Rider. She's like, she's, she's <laughs> like, she's like the Chumbawamba. He's like the Chumbawamba superheroes. He gets knocked out. He gets back out again. Yeah. yeah. She's got a whiskey drink. Yeah. She's got a whiskey drink. She's got a lager drink. Actually, actually, that goes against her religion, so she does not have those things. So, no. Uh, she can't use them as weapons to pour on him to put him out? She would not have alcohol, no. She's underage, and it's against her religion. So, there you go. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're going pretty weak if you got to pull the religion card. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love Kamala Khan. That's like a big part of her first, her first volume. Great. <laughs> All right, Justin. Uh, I'm going to go with David uh, Edmondson on this one. I think that goes right. I think Nicolas Cage gets extinguished, and he is... He's going to fall. He's going to see his dad and he's going to be like, oh, I don't need to be Ghost Rider anymore. And then he's going to get crushed like he said in the opening <laughs> arguments. And then you don't even have a fight anymore because you've already long since been dead. All right, AJ. Come on. Come had on. you ha- if, if Clark had stated that Nicolas Cage would go and steal, you know, the independent, like, you know, the letter at at Washington D.C. I'm sh- and held it up like this is, you know, the signed papers that I stole. I don't think Kamala would punch him, but because he didn't do that in your argument, I'm gonna go with Kamala on this, and there you go. and she wins for me. I, mean, I, I can tell who does not read comics here. <laughs> But yeah, I have I, seen Nicolas Cage movies. <laughs> there you go. Comments All agree. Right. Sweet. All right. I'm, I'm I'm in the semis. I'm in the semis. I'm still in it. I'm still in it. All right. We got uh, we got probably probably the hardest debate coming up next is uh, going to be uh, AJ's Wolverine versus Justin's Black Panther. You know, uh, a real battle of the heartstrings. You know, we uh, we all have grown up on Wolverine in these movies, and of course. You know, the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman does leave an empty hole in my heart. So sympathy is on your side, <laughs> Justin. So I appreciate that, but I don't think I don't think we need it because I have a, a very simple solution in defeating Wolverine. I'm gonna whip out my vibranium coated cell phone and I'm gonna phone a friend and I'm gonna call Magneto to come over and just rip the adamantium right out of Wolverine's body, and we're gonna call it a day, high five each other, and go get some drinks. Easy peasy. I know a great pub in Wakanda, and we're already there. Thank you oh so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AJ, how are you going to combat Magneto pulling the vibranium out of your body? Not the vibranium, pulling the adamantium out of your body. All <laughs> the attractions in the nineties. Wolverines are omnivores, and they can be found in mountainous regions and dense <laughs> forests. <laughs> That doesn't help you. <laughs> Are you going uh, with the wrong Wolverine, AJ? I think uh, you know he Wolverine's a really strong character. I mean, if we're if you're not calling Magneto, I just want to let you know that this guy, this old man Logan, beat the Hulk out in his own in his uh, old man Logan story, and Hulk is really strong. So for him, for Wolverine to rip apart Hulk, I want to say he could easily do it to uh, what do you got? To Black Panther, you know, you know. In fact, he just has to catch him not wearing his suit. You know, oh, while he's, he's asleep, a... you know, that's it. Wolverine coming in just like an actual Wolverine in the middle of the night and kill him. That's no it. Just... way. <laughs> or not I guess in this either. case, with his little uh, <laughs> with his uh, claws and bam, stabby stabby, I win. Because <laughs> without that <laughs> suit, <laughs> without that suit. All that's right, Justin, it. you got your rebuttal. Sure. So, I mean, Black Panther, we all know he's super mega fast. He, he can outrun a car like he did in Civil War. He is, uh, I've never seen Logan do anything like that. I've seen him run. I've seen him get hurt. I've seen him, he never dodges anything. He always gets shot. Uh, Logan is the worst at defending himself. He always takes a beating. And um, I think that with the strength of, of Black Panther and his, his cat like speed and agility, speed of a mongoose, he would be able to take on a Wolverine in two seconds. And even if he didn't phone a friend like, Magneto mm-hmm. to come and pull the adamantium out of him. I think that he is ready to go at all times. Chop his head off and then and go bowling with it. Be amazing. All right. all right, AJ, last chance to win some votes. All right. So, like, I know exactly how to stop uh, Black Panther. I will call, well, what's her name from the movie where he says he never freezes, but he freezes. And that's it. Just have her in front. He'll freeze. And then I kill him from there because he is stunned because he can't talk to, can't talk to her. You know, so that is my. Uh, if you can call Magneto, I'm going to call her. And you know, I don't even know who her is. Who are you? What's, what, what, what's her name? The they, no help, no help. Justin was uh, out a, a character's the one, name. The, yeah, it is the female in the beginning of the movie of Black Panther, where he once he told tells uh, 
Oh, I can only remember all her. Have I seen the same movie you've seen? (laughs) No, I'm telling you, he tells I don't freeze. And then she says, like, after that fight in the beginning of the movie, she's like, he's like, you froze. So that's it. All it takes is not actual, like, cold. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's enough for for me to get him off guard, catch him off guard. But yeah, that's my only rebuttal. Was it Shuri? Is that who you're talking about? I think so. I don't remember these character names well. All right, Dave. You get the first uh, yeah, vote. I thought she was the one that said you freeze. No, it was Akoya. Uh, oh, well, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Akoya said that, yeah. So uh, I think Justin made the more compelling argument. Um, Black Panther does have an extensive uh, Rolodex where he can just call anybody he wants. <laughs> uh, it's, a, and, it's a vibranium Rolodex. And, 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 and to be honest, like, he, he, he is like basically Wolverine trying to fight Black Panther by like, trying to fight Batman with powers. He's more intelligent. He's richer. And there's no way he's getting into Wakanda undetected. But by, by the time he got to Black Panther, if he got to Black Panther, Black Panther's friends would have been there because he would, he would be like, "I'm a king. I don't, I don't deal with animals. <laughs> I'm sitting here on my throne. You are beneath <laughs> me." And uh, yeah, there you go, uh, Magneto. I'll let your mutants live here in Wakanda. Just um, throw Wolverines to the ocean, please. Nice. <laughs> I think AJ made an excellent point when he said that the Wolverine could beat the Hulk, and I think that that really, really resonated oh, with me oh, in, a, in, in a way. In a, in a way, when I thought. That's great, except he's not fighting the Hulk. He's fighting Black Panther. Point, Justin. Oh, oh man. man. The little <laughs> robot up there. How'd you guess? Co- comments have Wolverine. Huh? That's one comment on Wolverine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Where's Black Panther? Hey, should have fought over animals. the omnivore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, please. How exciting. So while Justin uh, finishes, our, so our final four, we went, we have the Elite Eight, now we got the final four. So the first match is going to be between the adorable, the effervescent, the beautiful Paul Rudd as Ant-Man versus Miles Morales, the super-duper cool Spider-Man, the new hotness, as Mr. Clark had dubbed him, uh, going toe-to-toe in round one. In round two, it will be Kamala Khan's Ms. Marvel versus Black Panther. So let's kick it off. Paul Rudd Ant-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Let's uh I guess uh let's 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 have Ant Man go first. So AJ. Sure. Let us know. How why why would why would Ant Man defeat Spider Man? Battle of the insects. So where I use being giant against Hawkeye, I would have to use to be really small and shrink where Spider Man cannot see me and land those punches that way. Uh I feel that also uh you know, Afternoon Delight is a wonderful song. And <laughs> It would be a, such a catchy tune that Miles Morales would fall as well. That's my only argument with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. David, you have an incredibly medium-sized bar you got to climb here. Right. So I thought, you were gonna go, I thought you were going to go big, which is good you didn't, because we've already seen a weaker Spider-Man take out giant Paul Rudd, so we already know how that goes. Uh, but for smaller It'd be the same. It'd be a, a same or if not worse result because, as you know, Miles Morales has the Venom Blast, which he can he can do direct target, but he can also release in a 360 orb around himself. So basically, the moment he senses you near him, he's going to do it. Which it, it, it it's going to hurt Paul Rudd a lot, but what it's going to do worse than that is it's going to disable the little tech that gives him his ability. And once that's gone, uh, he's no longer going to be a hero. He's just going to be either a really tiny guy or he's going to come back to regular size. Either way, at that point, then it's just going to be a simple one punch, snap his neck, and be done with it. You would hurt uh, Paul Rudd? I sure would. <laughs> I sure would. <laughs> <mean. laughs> Don't worry. He's a, he, he, he doesn't age. He'll, he'll, his corpse will look pretty. Okay? Don't worry. My, Miles will take care of that. He's already yeah. been shot with the, D, with the aging arrow, so he's 200 years old at this point. Oh, he's... Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Uh, I my, my condolences to the Ant Man family. <laughs> I, I don't think yeah. that Paul Rudd will even age in death. I think they could exhume Paul Rudd's body like three thousand years from now, and he looks he's like that. Up there. <laughs> yeah, he's still like this, <laughs> you know. But no, yeah. I mean, Miles Morales, uh, Spider Sense plus the fact that he can hit, hit energy everywhere. That's kind you, of. Do you I'm have a rebuttal, AJ? Yeah. So, like, you know, Ant Man has those little um, pills that make things larger uh, or smaller. So I would Allison use Lindeland. those. Yeah, I would play that game with Spider-Man, where I would chuck. Uh, at this point, I'll use my ants against me too, or against him. Where I will just make larger ants and an army of them to go after Spider-Man. I am sure in a giant crowd of ants, uh, Miles can only handle so much. 
Whereas I come and sneak in and then beat them from there. Uh, also, probably like shrink a building and then enlarge it and then crush Spider Man. Um, other than that, I'm trying to figure out where I could put him in. You know, we have Clueless. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much Josh is, uh, you know, you've seen Clueless and how much that affects, but Clueless is a wonderful movie, and without Paul Rudd, we wouldn't have that movie either. <laughs> but that's not the main argument. Fucking <laughs> like rolling with the uh, Yeah. <laughs> uh, like a major problem in that movie? <laughs> you mean that movie where he falls in love with his stepsister? <laughs> <laughs> do you have but, anything uh, guess- to, re- to, to rebuke the Clueless defense? I do. So my, my thing is with, with the spiders, their, their, their whole theme is that the bigger and crazier and more impossible things get, the better they perform. I mean, that was the whole theme of Enter the Spider-Verse. When, when reality started crumbling and buildings started flying everywhere and everything started going nuts, that was when Miles was at his best. And that was like day one of him, of him being a hero. This is him Wait. as the ultimate Spider-Man. And I think he, he would be, uh, he'd be able to rise to the challenge. And he's, he's taking out Ant-Man. He's taking out Ant-Man. And by the way, Paul Rudd is Scott Lang Ant-Man. Not even the best Ant-Man. Oh man! Oh, wait, would you rather have the, the, the wife abuser Hank Pym in man, or he's he's really good at killing? <laughs> he's really he's really good at murder. So but, AJ, uh, AJ yeah, specifically I, requested Paul Rudd to be his yeah, which yes, I uh, mean Scott Lang. So I I think it's it's Miles on this one, man. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Justin? Who? Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to go with Miles on this one because I think even if he threw all the ants, uh, he could do a shock blast and that would still have uh, residual effects for all the ants that are coming at him. So I think that Miles Morales could definitely pull this one off. Yeah, sorry, AJ. I, 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 I promised I would never vote against Paul Rudd and his Ant-Man because I love it. <laughs> and now I find myself voting against it not once, but twice. Uh yeah, we needed a Michael Pena's character to do the recap, and uh, you come you up with yeah. yeah. that. So what I would do first, <laughs> you would instantly win. But uh, yeah, my vote is for Miles Morales, the second best Spider-Man. All right, there you go. <laughs> and, by second, and by second best, I mean behind like noir Spider-Man. Oh man! Well, who is Nick Cage? So exactly. I will I'm say okay. the 360 Venom shot, like the AOE, was I was like, oh man, AOE attacks. <laughs> those are those are definitely deadly. Those are banned in the Geneva Conference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now comes another slam dunk for Mr. Cavender. Uh, it's going to be Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan versus Wakanda Forever himself, the Black Panther. So I'll go first. Ms. Marvel is cool. She's got a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot of same stuff, uh, Black Panther. I didn't want to go negative on this, but I don't know if you've seen the latest uh, version of the Wakanda, the Wakanda Inquirer magazine. So apparently, Black Panther, T'Challa himself, has gotten kind of a scandal. He, uh, you know, there is a, we'll say younger. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to name people, but he's he's oh he's he's got a proclivity for younger girls, and it's very unfortunate. <laughs> His mom is very disappointed in him. It, you know, it, it's it's a whole royal scandal. We haven't seen this since like the British royal scandal of like the late nineties. So come on, or, or three on. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, or the one that was a couple <laughs> weeks ago, where 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 we saw millionaires complain about other millionaires. But I digress. So Black Panther's got it's got the taste in his mouth, and so now this young girl comes. He underestimates her because he's got sees stars and hearts in his eyes, and then she just wops him over the head before he could because because black panther's a pretty man so he wants his helmet off so she so he can like see it. look look at me look at me look at me <laughs> and uh and so she pretends she's into it so they like it's one of those like so they're way far away and they're like they're like at first like and black panther's like and he gets up there <laughs> that's and like, right wow and just knocks his head off and she's like wakanda forever that's, that, that's all i got <laughs> oh man that's uh that's brutal I, uh, I think everyone knows that that uh, magazine you're talking about is is rubbish, and no one even reads it in Wakanda. So I don't think that he's worried about it at all. And I think that uh, he's got his game face on every day, all day. And she is just another opponent to him, and he will take her down like a sweet muffin. And he's got the speed. He's got the technology. He's got the team behind him giving him direction. And uh, I think this is a no-brainer. I think that he slices her up into pieces, and it's over and done with in seconds. I'm, I'm, it, it's it's awkward that you haven't, you know, this throwaway mag you say is terrible is actually, you know, one of the best, uh, most uh, journalistically integral <laughs> magazines there is. 
And uh, his family kind of turned their back on him. You know, sure, he recently did an interview with like the, the British Son, which isn't. Even I don't think that's business. right. <laughs> and, she, and, she, and she said how ashamed she was of her brother, and so she's not in his ear anymore. Okoya is just there because she feels like she has to be there because it's, she's like honor bound. But like everyone's kind of abandoned the Black Panther in light of this scandal, and so because of those reasons, I just don't think he's he's got the, he's got the chutzpah. I don't think that is accurate. And let's just pretend for half a second that what you say and what you read in the papers is true. <laughs> I think that he's a better man and he's bigger than all of that and that it would not face him in the least bit. All right. He's a king for crying out loud. He's, he's royalty. He's above all that. Oh, yeah. We've never, we never seen a king do anything bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a Wakanda king. There, he's, he's, he's a different breed. Of oh, okay. He the, the wants to help the world. He's he's different. Do, do I even need to ask David who you vote for? Ah, uh, okay. So <laughs> on the arguments alone, I've got I've got to side with Justin, it, even though it goes against what I would think in an actual fight. But based on the arguments alone, I Justin got that point. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> All right, AJ. Jamal As a subscriber to this magazine. <laughs> I 100% believe in it. So to catch him off guard and then punch him with her superpowers, I I will fully agree and I will put my vote to Kamala on this. Yeah, well done. <laughs> oh man. I hope I get my next month for free. <laughs> and the comments are tied. Oh, oh really? How are they tied? Oh no. Actually it says uh no, we're good. We're good. It is Black Panther. Black Aww. Panther. Says, uh, uh, as much as uh, I love her, she can't take him out. So there you go. Yeah, easy peasy. Sorry, Miss Khan, I, I did you dirty. Should have, should have been better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's exciting. We have our finals, and it's going to be Miles Morales, Spider Man, in the corner of Mr. David Clark versus Black Panther, T'Challa himself, under the tutelage and expert tutelage of Justin. D. Cavender. So. D? <laughs> <laughs> I said D. Yeah, it's what? not. <laughs> I, know, it's I was like, GDC. I gave, I, gave, I gave you Randy's mill initial instead of, instead of your M. <laughs> JMC. There but, we go. What uh, should we uh, should we should we do a contest to who goes first or when do you want to volunteer to go first? I'll let Clark go first. My character's uh, on top, so I get to pick. We'll do it that way. And I, I did the trouble of copy and pasting these images, so I'm I'm tired. I need a second. So you did. You had, you had, a, you had a, a control C and a control V. <laughs> all right. All right. David, so, uh, all right. So, all right. So if they were to face off, as much as I like to child, I, it, Miles is going to take this one. Black Panther has heightened senses, right? One of his weaknesses has always been loud noises and flashing lights, which are things that you can do with electricity, which, oh, look, Miles can do that. He's also faster. Uh, he's also stronger. Because remember, Black uh, Black Panther, he is peak human. Miles Morales is superhuman. He could just punch T'Challa to death if he wanted to. Um, he could also do a similar movement to you know uh, to what, how what Peter did to Wolverine, or he could just rope him up and leave him hanging somewhere because uh, not not much you can do there. Or he could always just you know you know make him like a little mummy, throw him in the ocean. Good luck. You can't in the move. ocean. Always go into the ocean. It's a great it's a great thing. You can't I don't think they would agree to fight. Like <laughs> you can't breathe. It works. And you know what else really hurts you when you're in a bunch of water? Electricity. And look oh, at that. Man. Look who can generate a bunch of that. I'm just saying, stronger, faster, better, more. He has more options in terms of his attacks. It's just, it, it is what it is, man. He's the ultimate Spider Man. Oh, man. Ultimate. All right. I believe Justin, it. Justin, he's the ultimate. <laughs> versus yeah. the ultimate me, Paul. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. All right. Well, as you as you know, vibranium is amazing and it floats in the ocean. So whenever Miles Morales throws Black Panther into the ocean, I'm just going to float because that's just the rules of vibranium. It does whatever you want it to be. You can eat it in your cereal. You can make a suit out of it. You can build trains out of it. It does everything. So I think I'm all set. And I think it even has an anti-Spider-Man shock ability built into it. 
I think I read that online in the Wikipedia page for <gasps> Black Panther. <laughs> so, so wouldn't you know it, Vibranium absorbs all crazy, shocky Miles Morales electric juice. So I'm good there. And if you were to wrap me up with this little webs, my awesome claws would cut right through that because they're just the strongest stuff on the planet, short of adamantium. Or unobtainium, if you want to count the Avatar universe. So I'm really not all that worried. <laughs> so I'm really I, not I, all that I worried have, about it. I do have a rebuttal. So uh, yes, the claws—they're they're, they're rather dangerous. And I will once again refer to when uh, Spider-Man uh, beat Wolverine. His claws are also dangerous. And the way he beat him was he tied him up, claws facing the head, so that he could not move and could not use the claws to do it to get out of that. So. Uh, Miles, having had a uh, you know a lot of time with Peter, a lot of experience, would know how to do this. It's very easy for a spider. Really, any spider can do this. Tie him up, claws to your head. Good luck. I'm I'm either going to starve you out or fall in the ocean. Whatever. It is what it is. You wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you be Earth. I would. Don't I would never. Black Panther would never even let it come to that. He would see Miles Morales a mile away, even when he was invisible. I'm sure that he would use his little Black Panther little senses and be like, "Oh my God, look at this little invisible guy just creeping around in the background." I totally see him, <laughs> and uh, he would grab him, beat the hell out of him, and then call it a day, and then go get a Wakanda milkshake, and it'll be amazing. I'm not. I'm not even stressed. I think what we learned from this is, you know, never get in a fight with David near the ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great tool, guys. It's, it's right like a, there. It's like a lethal weapon, too, where the guy is, like, looking around. It's like, what are you doing? Just making sure I'm not standing on plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you got to make sure that when you're fighting with Clark, you're not near the ocean. I mean, so. if, you're, if you're in New York, you're always by the water. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. You don't want to be thrown by Hudson. Ugh. Yeah. If Clark ever oh, yeah. wants to, like, take where a surfing is or this... snorkeling. <laughs> Is I, I would prefer home court advantage, so we're actually fighting in Wakanda, what? so there's actually not a whole not... lot of buildings where we're at. Well, for as, you to swing as, the, as being part of, as, as, since the spiders are part of the uh, more money making franchise, I'm going to go ahead and call home court advantage for us. We're in New York, which is where everything important happens in comics. Yeah, but <laughs> if, if the heroes were so great in New York, it wouldn't suck so bad with crime. So I really don't think that Miles is all that effective as a superhero the crime because is there to make money. <laughs> I mean, it's like literally the most populated city with superheroes, and there's still people out there committing crime. So, how good is Spider Man really if if all this crime is still existing? I mean, T'Challa once uh, had to destroy all vibranium because he couldn't be Dr. Doom, thus making Wakanda worthless. So, I wouldn't want to be there. This, was, pre this was pre all that. <laughs> uh, this, this was not that long ago. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, anyway, though, like he's not stronger than, than Spider Man. He just he, he just doesn't not. need to be. He just oh, he, he does. does. If, you want, if, you want, if he wants to punch him to death, he, he, he's going to need to not be. one one hit with those claws, and he's done. So, <laughs> no. story. It's it's not how it works. And All and right. he doesn't even tie his shoelaces. He's going to trip and fall right into he Black wear shoes claws. Of a Spider Man. Okay. Oh, he does. Oh, I've seen it. Look All at right. look at he's oh, wearing man. shoes <laughs> as Spider Man <laughs> right here. Visual aid. He's going to oh, trip and fall. He, he doesn't trip, and the picture you use, he's not wearing that. So I mean, that's your picture that you put on there. That, that, I you can't even is... see his feet. <laughs> that, I, I know the cover that's from. He's not wearing shoes. Oh nope, I, I, I see shoes. He's on, on camera Andrews with shoes. Brave enough to. But he also, but he also didn't trip when wearing those either. And he took those off before the final fight, didn't he? He sure did. I don't, I don't know about. Well, put him back on. That fight's over and done with. Now he's casual Friday. <laughs> All right, we'll let you go on a little bit longer because it was the finals. You guys did an admirable job of pleading your case. So, AJ, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think Justin made a compelling argument where his suit has probably like anti uh, shock and Spider Man <laughs> stuff that he read on Wikipedia. You know, that is a hundred percent reliable source. <laughs> so, uh, I mean. If Clark had made an argument like I have a little laser light, it pointed on the ground, and then his cat, <laughs> you know, he would He's fall for it as like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> he like a cat. <laughs> and other cats. <laughs> you know, if he had done that, maybe I would have gone for Spider Man. I am going to give my vote to uh, Black Panther over here. So I'll take it. All right. Also, the shoe thing was really compelling. He showed shoes. Right? Shoes. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> you have a Black Panther figure within our range? He studied the opponent. opponent. He's got the figure there. He's yeah. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Justin, approach. Do you have a Black Panther figure with you right now? 
I don't. Sorry, I'm do you, all wait, 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 wait. Hey, do you have a Miles Morales figure? Yeah. Okay, Miles wins. No, you like him more clearly. You well, like him better. You believe well, in him more. We I do like, like him better. I, I he's my favorite. And for me yeah. to have to to find a way to take him down broke my heart. That's and very fact, I'm gonna need to take the rest Batman. of the day off because you I'm can. so distraught from that. <laughs> yeah, but okay. He, say, he's right. it's over. Sorry. 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 <laughs> can being rich be a superpower? I mean, it is for Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see why not. So here's where I here's where I come down to it. I think you both did an incredible job of arguing your cases better than I could have definitely done. And why I uh, <laughs> I value both of your inputs and your passion and your fervor for your characters. I think that when it comes down to it, a lot of David Clark's arguments stemmed from, well, maybe I could do this or this. If this happens, this happens. To where Justin <laughs> kind of came with this great facts. No, you were like, well, I'll just. You said, you said the crazy Clark. Lewis that, happened. Head. <laughs> that happened in the comics. That's yeah. what he did. That's how he beat Wolverine. Claws to the head. All right. So now let's, he's just hanging in there. Let's work what through this. Happen? Okay. How does the hands get 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 to the head? So what what was uh, well, basically the, the same way he did to Wolverine? You 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 web him up and then you just you move the arms around like basically like a basically like a human puppet. Basically, you attach it to him because he's faster than the than Black Panther. And then you just wrap it up, and you make it so that he can't move. The way the way Sp- Spider Man beat Wolverine, who is like you know ba- basically a, a stronger, more mortal version of Black Panther, was he just left him hanging in an alleyway so he couldn't move, which is a it's a similar option. So child has got to eat; he's got to sleep. And if you just if you're just stuck there, I don't can't move, so. I have I have servants; they can feed me. Yeah. So, so you, you would, so, so basically, you would, you would subdue the Black Panther, and then you would use your spider hands to move his hands onto his head, and then you would you, you, super glue his head. You, you, you shoot the webs, and you and you wrap them up so you can't move. That's a, that's a that's a really good way of beating. It's happened in the comics, so I'm just saying that's a good way. I see you, what you you're can't saying. Touch the vibranium. I would. I don't think Black Panther would even allow that. He would be so amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, and then also, also get factor with the fact that Black Panther does not have the physical strength to actually take down the spider. He just doesn't have that strength. Dude, I killed like eight spiders yesterday. I think Black <laughs> Panther. He's a better person than I am. You know kid. what I mean? A Spider Man. I think. Yeah. I think. I think. I think he's so noble that he would just put him in a glass cup and then just put him outside. And just, yeah. you know, put the paper it. underneath <laughs> like, 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 the holographic door that is Wakanda. Into, like, it's a big alley. glass. That's not it's how that works. It was in the comics, Clark. I've seen it. <laughs> so unfortunately, Mr. Clark, my vote is also going to go to the Black Panther. So. Woo-hoo. I don't know what the comment section it. is. <laughs> but uh, it says, it yeah, I have, see, uh, I love Miles, but Black Panther wins this fight. And then there's also Black Panther for sure. Mm. Oh, I can tell yeah. who does the ring comics now. <laughs> read. Who reads? The, the well, shoe was really compelling. Smart people read. <laughs> I mean, Black Panther, like was in, Black Panther was in three MCU movies. How many MCU movies has. Morales been in zero. <laughs> I think zero. Uh, well, no, he's in the best comic book movie ever made. Okay, exactly. Nice. And he's uh, a figure coming out in a, in a couple months. And you have one right there. Wait, does it. that does do. the figure you coming out come with shoes? Yes. Shoes and not shoes. Basically, okay. it comes with enough. You, 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 can, you, you can make the outfit with the hood up and the shorts and the shoes, or without. So I'm, I'm buying two. So, First of all. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Well, that, that was, was fun. fun. Congratulations. Justin, you won. Uh, wow. You won the battle of the street level characters. All right. Wakanda forever, right? Street level. Yeah. <laughs> Magneto and I are gonna go get drinks. You didn't call Magneto or anyone into this one. You, yep. you, did, you, you did this one yourself, like Thanos. Yep. Like, I'm gonna have to do this myself. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. Nice. Well, that was fun. Well, if you guys enjoyed this and you're in the comments, you know, let us know who you think would have won any of those matches. I apologize if you are a Ms. Marvel fan, and I. I did you bad. That, that's that, that's on this guy here. But uh, hope you have fun. You know, at least we tried to make it interesting. Uh, and if you have any, uh, you know, what if matchups you'd like to see us uh, talk about or debate, you know, leave those in the comments as well. You know, there's this there's one thing that the nerds and geeks like us love to do, and that's the debate: who would win between Blank and Blake? So, uh, you know, the more you can give us, the better. So, thanks guys for for playing along. You know, everyone I think did an amazing job of making their point. Uh, I appreciate the silliness that came from some of them, but it uh, put a smile on my face. Uh, so, yeah, make sure to join us at 2 o'clock today. We're going to be doing the Tomashi Nation's pop-up uh, virtual tour. 
Uh, and then go to bluefinbrands.com to check out all of the awesomeness in front of us. Uh, we got so much stuff on there. We got the Storm Injustice figures. We got the uh, Figure Arts Heroes for Dragon Ball. We got the Transformers Flame Kids. We got Ghibli. We got Shogun. We got so much more stuff. And since you're already on the website, where you're already there, you probably spent a little bit of money, might as well try to win something free. So at bluefinbrands.com slash contest, we're giving away a set of Final Battle Edition SH Figure Arts from Tomashi Nations. It includes the awesome Thanos. Uh, you can pose him with helmet, without helmet. He comes with a pipe effect that he can sit on, like that scene in Endgame where Stark and uh, Thor and Captain America come out. They just see him sitting there playing with rocks in his hands. He's got <laughs> his helmet. He's got his helmet on the on his little batless his little batless sword thing. Uh, uh, it's so awesome. It also comes with Captain America, with Iron Man, and with Thor, so you can recreate that scene. And then also comes with the Iron Spider Final Battle Edition that comes with the Nano Gauntlet. So. So much awesome stuff. So to go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest to enter to win. Someone's got to win. Might as well be you. So Justin, David, AJ, thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you guys all back at uh, 2 o'clock, except Mr. Clark. He's got a meeting, but Mr. Clark will be back at 4 o'clock for our final live stream of the day, which will be all about Transformers and Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Well, both by your own mind, he's both. He's both. But, but by That's right. So, yeah, so thanks, everyone. You're the two first. So thanks for joining us, everybody, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Hope to see you all at 2 o'clock for the virtual tour of the Tomasha Nations pop-up shop in New York City, where Miles Morales lives. Yeah. The second by the best water. level character. As the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, by the water, as AJ says. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, everybody.